Hello guys. Welcome to Diablo the Primordial. This video is the continuation video after the strongest of all. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. And please check out my second channel Top Anime Sensei for the light novel of Tensura. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. Velgrind felt it was unpleasant. However, she couldn't understand, Velgrind followed after her too even though she felt it was unpleasant. I knew it, it's you. Those words force an absolute control over those with Angel Series ability, don't they? Ha, huh? as expected of you, Guy Crimson. The only person Velda Sama was cautious of, however, it's already too late even if you know about it. What you can do now is only await your death obediently. Shut up. An insect like you shouldn't speak so arrogantly. Guy shouted as he swung his sword at Lucia. But, his sword was easily repelled by the barrier that appeared around Lucia. Lucia smiled as if sneering at Guy and continued her steps towards Chloe. Hearing Guy's words, Velgrind could also understand the situation. What was happening to her body right now? And, what had happened to her sister body too? Unforgivable, I will never forgive you, Velda. Due to fury and humiliation, Velgrind was burning with violent emotions to the extent of being dizzy. At the same time, she thought. At this rate, everything will be as Velda's expected. Velgrind couldn't defy the order. Even if Guy was cunning and was the strongest being, there was no chance for him to win fighting against both Velzard and Velgrind at the same time. Lucia seemed to be convinced of her victory as she ignored Guy's attacks as if to say to Guy to do as he likes as she approached Chloe. Chloe Aubert, accept me. Leaving those words, the spirit of multiple existence separated from Lucia and was sucked into Chloe. As if he was flustered, Guy attacked both Chloe or Lucia, but everything was already too late. A barrier created by Lucia's ability appeared before Chloe. It meant that Lucia had succeeded her incarnation and fused completely with Chloe. Whether he understood that or not, for the first time Guy caught a glimpse of his impatience. Lucia was assured of her victory and smiled. And then, her main body which finished transferring fragments of her energy and consciousness into Chloe, transferred back to the heaven. Along with the confidence of her victory. The hero's power and Lucia's energy. Right now, a flawless entity was about to be born. Velgrind could feel despair spreading across the place. However, at that moment, a voice echoed in the place. <laughs> I have arrived. A carefree laughter ruined the atmosphere. That voice was filled with hope and blown away even despair. When she heard it, Velgrind regained her composure. She didn't feel anxious anymore about her body being controlled and not moving as she wanted it. A bigger problem than that was that her foolish younger brother, Veldora, could see her current pathetic figure that was being controlled by someone, so Velgrind thought. This is unpleasant. Very unpleasant. For her disgraceful figure to been seen by him not just once, but twice, Velgrind thought this would greatly hurt her dignity as an older sister. That fool, it seems he thinks I was being controlled and get carried away. She felt anger boiling up inside her when she heard his loud laughter. When Velgrind calmed down, she inspected her body carefully once more. As before, her body didn't respond to her own will. However, when she investigated the cause, she noticed that some kind of meddling was done through the ultimate skill engraved deep inside her heart. Is this the reason? A fragile corridor connected to Ultimate Skill Justice Lord Michael was constructed with Ultimate Skill Charity Lord Ragel as the axis. Velgrind realized that the Ultimate Dominion Lucia had declared was done via this corridor. And, that meant the control circuits were inside the Ultimate Skill itself from the very beginning. In other words, this was the mechanism that older brother created for emergency control, something like that. Velgrind found out the true nature of the mechanism that manipulated Velzard and herself in this event. If her older brother was the one who built the mechanism that meant it would be near impossible to cancel it. Although her despair had disappeared with Veldora's appearance, the situation was still bad. She wanted to click her tongue bitterly, but her body wouldn't do as it was told. Well, what should I do now? At the moment Velgrind thought so, a mysterious voice echoed deep inside her. If you desire, if you desire it, it, I shall I grant shall you grant even, you more, even power. more power. So, the mysterious voice whispered to her. It wasn't something simple like an auditory hallucination. A clear and strong will could be sensed from the voice. It sounded similar to voice of the world, but a bit soft and refined gentleness could be felt from it. The problem was the meaning behind its words. 
Even more power, you said? If I obtained it, can I overcome this situation? It's possible, so I assure you. I see, it's possible. Then, there's no need to hesitate. Velgrind consented without any hesitation. Yes. For Velgrind, if she could break through this situation, a situation that exposed her unsightly appearance to her foolish younger brother, Veldora. She wouldn't hesitate even if she had to shake hands with the devil. I have confirmed Velgrind's will. Alteration will be activated. That voice announced. At that moment, Velgrind felt surges of incredible power. It was emanating from deep inside her and gently enveloped her whole body. Notification. Individual. Scorch Dragon Velgrind's ultimate skill charity Lord Ragel has evolved into ultimate skill flame god Sovereign Kathuga. Along with fantastic and majestic sounds, voice of the world loudly announced. However, that voice could only be heard by Velgrind, since a complete concealment was done. And now, Velgrind had been liberated from any constraints. Velgrind's thought halted at the unbelievable occurrence that had occurred to her own body. As the amount of information was too much and too abnormal, Velgrind, who wasn't the thinking type, couldn't suppress her confusion. But, she didn't care about that sort of thing. Right now, the most important thing than anything else was. There was only one person that came into her mind that could make this phenomenon possible to occur in her body. That aloof slime. Veldora's close friend named Demon Lord Rimuru. It can't be. Could it be that slime? He had fiddled with the control circuit inside the ultimate skill and made it possible to evolve it by incorporating my will and ability to the unnecessary space. That's not on a level of optimization anymore. Such an absurd thing is a technique that only Velda can do. If there's another being who can do it then. Velgrind shuddered as she imagined such an impossibility. She nearly fell into a thought loop of amazement, but she recalled that it wasn't the time for it right now, her consciousness returned to the reality. Lucia looked at Velgrind suspiciously, but there was nothing serious to be worried about. As for Velgrind right now, she could only see the likes of Lucia as an unimportant weakling. Velgrind's ability had been improved to a terrifying level for her to be able to think so. Fu fu fu, fu ha 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 ha. I was made to go to the place where my two older sisters were, for a moment I thought about what will happen, but it seems the god has not forsaken me. Veldora thought so and felt relief from the bottom of his heart. Her two older sisters were being controlled. They couldn't move with their own will, as they were under the control of that angel named Lucia. Taking the advantage of this chance, Veldora would come to their rescue in style. By doing so, her two older sisters would feel grateful to Veldora. And then, they would repent for their oppressions against him until now and apologize to him. That was the scenario that Veldora imagined. I came to this place reluctantly, but I didn't expect that I will stumble across a chance like this. I must give Rimuru my thanks. While thanking his good fortune and his friend's order, Veldora opened his mouth again. Hey guy, you seem to be struggling. But, rest assured, with me here, there is no need to worry anymore. It's you, Veldora. Honestly, I'm grateful. Even for me, it's impossible to release them from the control while fighting them. I understood the principles behind the ability, but its deactivation would be troublesome. Oh? I expected no less from you. Then, as long as their movement is stopped without killing them, it's possible to release them from the control, right? Yes, we could do something if we put all our power into thinking. But, in addition to your sisters, there's that strongest hero. Anyway, we need to disable these three people in front, you know? I think I might have been killed if you didn't come. Kua ha 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 ha. If that's the case, you should be grateful to me. Veldora got even cockier than before. Guy had an astounded face, but he said nothing. As he just said, he thought that fighting those three people would be hard even if Veldora was here. Killing them aside, the degree of difficulty jumped severely for disabling them. Rather, Guy thought he wanted to hear the reason why Veldora could be so optimistic. Well then, Guy, you could have the hero as your opponent. I shall quickly show my older sister some of my improvements. When Veldora stopped laughing, he stepped forward with a fearless expression. He walked towards Velgrind without hesitation. Velgrind, kill that fool. Lucia ordered Velgrind as she coldly gazed at Veldora. And then, bong. A huge sound echoed inside the hall. Veldora was staring blankly, his cheek was swollen red for some reason. Veldora had his eyes blinking incessantly, thinking about what just happened. A, eh? it looks like Anya moved by her own will just now. There was no murderous intent at all. 
but I felt a strong will to torment me though. Agitation ran through Veldora's heart. Hey, Veldora, just now, did I hear you say you were going to show me something? Or did I misheard it? Velgrind walked quietly to Veldora with a gentle smile on her beautiful face. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my earlier videos, then please watch them. The links are in the description. And please check out my other channel Top Anime Sensei for the light novel of Tensura. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.